working or not. I've been having technical difficulties all day. As you can see, I've been trying to get this GoPro to work for the last hour. When I turn it on, when I put a battery in, I turn it on, it just gets a red light and that's it. It doesn't come on. Um, anyway, what's up everyone? I'm Charlie and I wanted to give you a heads up of what we've done this week and what we're going to be doing in the future. This is our second year. Come here, buddy. Come here, say what's up to everybody. This is our second year traveling. I love you. <laughs> um, and last year I wanted to do like a video a week and I just didn't do that because I just, I don't really care for social media that much. But I'm going to try to swallow some of my hatred <laughs> and start posting because I want people to, to follow my journey along with these six dogs which are which are my family and and kind of see where where we go and some of the bike rides like i you know i do post a lot of motorcycle videos which is pretty cool but i want to focus a lot more on the dogs because that's the whole purpose of this um it's just a lot easier to post a motorcycle video because you put a gopro on and that's it and you pretty much just drag the videos to whatever software you're using and you're good to go um this is more interactive doing these videos and you got to set it up a little bit different add different crap you know but anyway it, it'll be worth it in the end because i'll be able to track you know all the videos of our movements from place to place throughout the next year or hopefully the next few years so my goal this year is to do one video a week and right now we've been here <coughs> excuse me seven seven or eight days we got here last saturday it was a 24-hour drive from Arkansas to here, Apache Sit Greaves, Northeast Arizona. That was a long drive. And we were gonna go back to Yuma in the courtside area, but that was like an extra four hours. And at the time I was freaking, I was out of it. So come up here and we'll stay here probably until it warms up a little bit and then head up north, probably Colorado, Wyoming, Mont excuse me, Montana, Oregon, I don't know. Um, but this is actually, the first place we came last year after courtside mm -hmm. and uh so it's a good place it's a little bit off the road i mean you're still close enough to the road where you hear cars and stuff but it's the way it's positioned nobody's really going to be around you there's two big ass mud puddles coming in so i mean really big mud puddles <clears throat> and you'll see that i took a lot of video and pictures this week so i'll add that onto this long video um but we've been here about a week Everything's going great. Had a little bit of problems on the Starlink because we, we're around and we're surrounded by 50 foot pine trees. So I got that worked out to where we're about 80 to 90% unobstructed view for the Starlink. Um, it's been snowing its ass off and the dogs have absolutely loved it, except for Buddy because he's got pecker bite, which is frostbite on your pecker, I think. <laughs> um, but I don't let him stay out too long. Come here, come on, man. I uh, left his booties, little, whatever you call them, little shoes back home because I didn't think I'd need them. And sure enough, I need them. But uh, I just try I just keep track of him. I don't let him out too long. But that's about it. I'm trying to think what else is going on. Oh, the ceiling was leaking this week really bad. I was going to replace that or tear, tear it down and look at it. But we I went to do that. I looked at the weather and it was supposed to snow real bad. That was yesterday. And sure enough, today, you'll see the videos. It's probably about a foot of snow out there everywhere. Um, so, which I like it. It's not like I was doing anything anyway other than the ceiling. But I'll work on the ceiling next week and I'll, I'll add that video. Um, I'll upload that hopefully next Sunday. But uh, that's about it. I got more videos I want to push out on... Uh, <clears throat> my experiences from the first year of traveling full-time i want to do another video when i'm introducing all the dogs um because this channel is all about them and um like i said i don't really care for social media i know it's i got to do this who's crying leeward um i'm not you know i call them social media whores and uh I'm talking about the people that take selfies 20 times a day and they get the dopamine hits from the likes and the comments. I, I don't give a fuck about that, you know. Um, I want people to follow me because they want to, because they love animals, they love motorcycle riding. 
Um, and I want to just, you know, kind of record my journey with these dogs. And if nobody watches, oh well, it's not a big deal. I'm recording it for me, you know, but I'd love to have some friends along the way as well. Um, and people who love motorcycle riding, because I mean, I, you know, when I first started this out, I was going to get a street bike. And I'm like, why get a street bike when I can get a dual sport and have the best of both worlds? So I ended up getting a dual sport Honda CRF 450 RL. I think that's what it is. How I've, I get it confused. And it's been freaking awesome. And uh, I've got some great videos out there of that. And as I learn more about the software, I, the videos will get better. I'm just, I went from Filmora to DaVinci. And uh, it's a big learning curve because DaVinci is actually professional software, but it's free, you know. And, you know, I had Adobe Premiere as well because I had the Adobe suite through my business. Um, but everything I read online, people were going from Adobe to uh, DaVinci because they just didn't like Adobe, what it's turned into. Um, by the way, before I forget, excuse the mess, this, we've been cooped up in here because of the snow. And it's me and six dogs, so it's almost impossible to stay clean 24-7. And I'm a clean freak. Um, so, excuse the mess. Um, I'm trying to think what else is going on. Leroy, what's up, man? I love you. I love you. That's about it. Like I said, I'll add some videos that we've um, recorded. We hit uh, the back, one of the four service roads, looking for another place to camp and found a creek. And it was, man, it was beautiful. It's Angel. You're so beautiful. She's such a sweet girl. You're so beautiful. Yes, you are. But we found a creek and the dogs freaking loved it. Give me a kiss. Or not. Yeah, I love you. And I took a lot of pictures, video, all that good stuff. And I'll, I'll add that to this primary video. Um, trying to think what else is going on. That's it. Um, but we are, like I said before, at the Patchy Sit Greaves outside of Heber Overgard. And uh, we're about an hour from Sholo, about 40 minutes from Sholo, probably about 40 minutes from Payson. So we're kind of dead in the middle. And like I said, we were here last year and uh, we left here and went to Durango, Colorado for a little bit and then went to Pagosa Springs. But I'll put all that information on the video that I, I put together on the, uh, my first year of travels and what my experiences and you know the goods and, and, the, and the bads of what we went through. It was a couple close calls. But other than that, it's been a, an amazing, 2023 was an amazing year for traveling. Um, and this has been a great year so far and I wanna keep it up, it's been a great year. I got to schedule vet appointments for all the dogs. Yearly checkups. Leroy's got a, a growth on his arm right here, under his arm or leg. And uh, it's been there for about a year and a half and I already got it checked out and they said, just keep an eye on it. But it looked like it's getting a little bit bigger. Um, but they put a needle in it and it's, they, they said it was fatty tissue. That's what the vet at Yuma said, but I don't know. I wanna get another vet to look at it and maybe, maybe take it off. But he's got a little bitty, some little bitty bumps on his back. I've already had them check that out. They said it wasn't nothing. Um, Got to get heartworm medication for all of them as well. Uh, that is it, I think. You're so beautiful. And now I want to do a video for my first year's travels, the video in introducing the dogs, and another video of a walkthrough of the uh, the uh, toy hauler here, the Nomad Stealth. And uh, then we'll start doing the weekly videos. But other than that, I appreciate everyone. And uh, after this video, you'll see all the videos and pictures I took this week. Thanks. Have a good one. Hey, buddy.
before I sleep. Hear the cricket, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Was crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh. How beautiful it is out there. We can tell the crazy ass. Sure. She's probably ready to go in. I had to take Buddy in. His pecker was getting cold, I think. <laughs> I got the Starlink on snow melt. I may go get some breakfast. Go, go. I love you, <laughs> crackhead, you crazy crackhead. <laughs> what you doing? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you gonna get wet? What in the hell? Lucy, don't. This one. See if they're open. Oh, here he comes. Oh, shit. <laughs> He'll keep going too. Watch. <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy, boy. What you doing, Angel? What you doing, Angel? What is it? I love it. They're having a good time. Lucy, is that not cold? I don't think you care. Get him, Lucy. Get him. Get him. <laughs> oh, that's, that looks so cold to her. Or to me. That's totally crazy ass. Get him, Lucy. Be quiet. What the fuck is that? Man. Angel! There's some horse shit over there. I know that. Oh, she's eating. Are you ready? It's getting cold out here. So right here you can see how snowed in we are. I mean, it got really, really bad the night before, but like I said before, the dogs absolutely loved it. But I had a hard time getting the snow and ice off the window, getting out of my location, had to put it in four-wheel drive. It was just really bad. And you'll see up here shortly. The good thing is we're not too far away from the road, but getting into our spot is some pretty deep holes and large rocks which is good because it's going to keep people from trying to get back there to us.
bruises and broken heart numbed all the pain show me how to heal and now i know So this is 280 going into a Heber. I sped it up a little bit because that you want to see me just driving. But what a great town. But also one kind of negative if you're doing, you know, if you're speeding a lot. I never in my 47 years on earth and all the places I've traveled seen so many cops as I have going through Heber Overguard. I think one town is Hebrew, another town is Overguard, and I think they kind of combine. So when you search, you know, you can search Hebrew, Arizona or Hebrew dash Overguard, Arizona. But I don't think there's a time that I drove through this town, and which has probably been 30, 40 times, that I did not see a state trooper or a local cop stop, pull somebody over. It is crazy. And I've heard of towns getting sued because of that, because, you know, I think a certain amount, a certain portion of revenue can only come from, you know, tickets versus other forms of revenue. And some towns just rely on heavy police presence, giving people tickets 20, 30 times a day. But again, if you're not doing anything wrong, you don't have nothing to worry about it. But um, right now I'm on the way to literally my favorite restaurant for breakfast that I've traveled to because I've been traveling. And I think it's called the Ponderosa Cafe. And it's in Heber as well, up here on the left. You'll see here shortly. She loves the water. 
Holy crap. <laughs> Damn. All right. Oh, it's beautiful out here. This is not our campsite. We just stopped for a minute to use the bathroom. I ride around. Angel, what are you doing? Man, let me go get everybody. Gather on that. Lucy Goose. Lucy. What are you doing? What are you doing? I have no idea what Angel's trying to do. I'm actually scared to get in the water. Let's get laid down for a second. The water's cold. 